seven, no, six. No, Matt. The, the five, episode has begun. Four. What? I'm surprised he can count. It's episode 78. But I was it's told plot to count. chat Overwatch. And I'm not going to hear any more lip from you. All right. You told me to give you lip. What is that? It? What is that? Like, what is that hoodie you got on? It's, it's an, an LA themed shirt. It's an Everybody LA Gladiator go shirt, buy one. It? No, no, no. This is the Thieves. Oh. This is my boy Nade Shot. My boy Courage JD. I don't know those guys. He, he, he wishes he was from LA. Are, are they? <laughs> are they? Uh, are they in the Overwatch League? Uh, they're in the Call of Duty League. It's kind of like the Overwatch League, but for Call of Duty. Oh, oh that's okay. that's. Uh, you you think you're cool, do you? Hanging out with your COD friends again? Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, look at them compared to you, you lot. I mean, Jesus. I mean, Matt, come Matt on is now. like the guy at school who's like friends with all of the different friend groups, and it's just like cool with everybody. And you're like, oh, that's Matt. He goes around with the uh, the the data guys yeah. today, and then the next time, you know, it's with the football guys, and then the next, it's just like yeah. But then he comes to us and bullies us. Because I'm just fucking awesome. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure yeah, the comment we, section disagrees sure, with sure. that. Really uh -huh. humble yeah, I, as well. I read the comments all the time, and that's all they say about me is how smart I am and all my great takes and how nice <laughs> I am to you guys. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You've made such an incredible, like, character twist. I cannot believe it, Matt, because you went what? from this, like, gullible guy who needs to stand on a box to, like, feel appreciated to now just being this guy <laughs> that everyone's like, he's toxic to everybody on Plat Chat. <laughs> this guy is evil. The little gnome. I think he's always he's been the evil like geniuses of the show. Huh? It's a twist. He, he's always been like that. The the surprise twist for me is that he's managed to find a stable income job. I know. That's unbelievable. An office uh, job. You are surprised that somebody else is able to find a job while you actually get jobs. That's incredible. What do you mean? <laughs> you, you, the uh, you know, sh streaming Dark Souls at 2 a.m. with a himbo beanie on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a hobby. Come on. No, he game. says it's for. He says it's. Uh, he says this is a job. He's what, professional. Uh, now. Listen, this is a special episode. You know why? Why? Because we've actually got some fucking news to talk about. We do. We're starting things <laughs> off big with a bang, rascal. There you go. Signs of the Philadelphia Fusion. Bish bash bosh. It's finally announced. Let's go. Johnny celebrating. I'm <laughs> celebrating. You're reserved. No, I'm. I'm still. No, I was re really excited about okay. this. I was just. I was getting ready to tell you that. Someone on Reddit calculated that this is the longest, right before this was announced, mm -hmm. was the longest oh, we've yeah. ever been in Overwatch since the beginning of the Overwatch League for, for roster change news. It was, the, it was the longest dry patch of right. roster, of no roster changes ever That's before so seen. Yeah, and it's in the off-season as well. Like it. But, but teams just figured out their shit so early on this well, it's year. It's also the league got pushed as well. Sure, the league was so, later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been like seven months. Expected things. I'm so excited for the fusion. I mean, they may just keep getting second in place over and over again, but like, I really don't care. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think like mono rascal, alarm, uh, shockwave. Like, uh, I mean, I, I think this team has potential to to really be sick. Uh, I'm excited to see Rascal play what a hot take. Uh, Well, uh, I mean. He's back I mean, to be Everybody else thought we we were talking when they signed Mono, and Josh thought they were going to be dog. I did not say they were going to be dog. <laughs> yeah, I said Josh that they, said they were going to be dog. <laughs> I said they were going to struggle to figure out how to mesh those pieces together. Mate, when I yeah, look at the Philadelphia Fusion, would be dog. when I look at the Fusion's roster, it's like a fantasy roster. It's like someone with too much money just decided to go. Yeah, it I'll is have, somebody with too all. much money. I love them said, all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if this team renamed ridiculous. to like Philadelphia Red Bull, I'd be like, yeah, this is Red Bull. This is what li Red Bull would put in their lineup. Just a bunch of like star names, just like Power, Star Power, Mono, Alarm, Poco, EQO, Throwing Rascal. This is Red Bull's Overwatch League team. I don't know. That's just just pure I'm, energy. I love it. I'm just happy that Rascal has found a team. I think. Can you give us Jonathan one last time? Can you give us a rendition <laughs> of the rant? <laughs> Can oh, you yeah. find the copy uh, pasta somewhere? No, I, I, my dog is sleeping here. I, I no. don't want to be. I don't. I don't be rude. Yeah. I, I, if well, you, if you want to check it out, I'm sure you can find it on my Twitter, yeah. Twitter.com. Can you, can you spam, it the, spam it in the comments below? I, all I want to see in the comments below is just Jonathan's rant about alarm. Yeah, John, uh, Johnny wouldn't want to have too much fun on the podcast. I feel like you know, this is the end of the chapter. Copy pasta.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is the end of the uh, uh, underrating rascal chapter. It's uh -huh. uh, I always got a tear in my eye. I can't wait for his career to just die a gruesome <laughs> death, and then I can move on and just start cheering for some other underrated fella. You know. Uh, this is how it goes. First it was Nevix, now it's probably Rascal, you know, maybe Rascal can't find playtime. Wow, there and, uh, it is, there on. it is. Uh, come on, Johnny, go. Uh, the greatest uh, ne thing about this is that you can you can use this in the YouTube chat for the league. Yeah. Because it all uses well, default emojis. This is so many characters, <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to use that in but the you can, chat. But you can combine with other people. And just ah, you can spam you, individual ah, parts. Yes. You should, you should do it. Just spam it so that the Overwatch League videos have more interactions, and then we spread on YouTube and we get more views, and then we can hire more people like Rascal to League. Exactly, and Jonathan will have saved the entire scene with one copy so, pasta. So, <laughs> no, it's a community, community drive. It's a community uh, uh, to get together. Yes, don't, don't the, the engagement of the chat was the decision to sign Rascal. Now, <laughs> alongside this news. There was also, what, the prospect that there would be visa issues. Yeah, there's been some, uh, some talks about visa issues between uh, a, a couple of players on the, the team. EQO apparently having difficulties. Uh, there was some discussion uh, among... Astro, I think. Yeah, on Astro maybe playing remotely for the beginning of the season, I think, was, was being tweeted about. And I saw Christopher recently tweet today. Christopher was actually responding to a tweet from Stylosa. Stylosa's wondering whether to shave his head, by the way. And all I can say about that is... Why? Fucking do it, mate. Do it. Because Stylosa's hair has grown too long in quarantine. He's got it all, like, wrapped up in a man bun. And he's wondering whether to shave it off. The days that I was bald uh, were the most glorious days hey, of my life. Uh, Dude, bring up, well, you're not bring, up a stylosa, bring up a stylosa pick. Uh, how's the hair back? Yes. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ah, I mean, I, I bro. I it, you, metallic as well. No, you, wow. you shave it. You shave the head when it's like Josh's, where it's like, you know, a little bit patchy. It's a little, uh, it's not really coming in all the way. You have a nice hair, head of hair like that. You don't shave it. But But the thing is, he isn't worried about going bald anytime soon. Great hairline, great hair, all good. Which means he can shave it and grow it back, no problems. He, he'll be able to shave it, and in two years, when it grows back to that length again, he's fine. Nah, nah, he bro. can just continue. Bro, the vaccine's coming out, bro. We're going to be back to normal in you know, a week or two, dude. He's going he's to be... Yeah, and two. people are going to mistake him for <laughs> Cinderella. People are going to... Uh, not Cinderella, <laughs> bloody... Who was Cinderella. the one up in the tower? Like Rapunzel, you... bloody or Rapunzel, Cinderella. not Cinderella. <laughs> yeah. The the uh... why why did Saito not shave? Sorry, I, I don't want to move away. Why 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 do you, have you grown your hair out? We haven't received an announcement on this. Why is I've the grown my hair, hair out? out? I've grown my hair out. My hair out is a, <laughs> the last desperate attempt of a balding man to hold on to his youth. That's why I've grown my hair and continue. Just to let have go, it. mate. I can't Wait, let when go, are you, Jonathan. When are you going to grow your hair out? Death is staring me in the face. <laughs> I can't Wait, let go. Are, this yeah, is my youth. Wait, when so are you growing your hair out? out? A cacophony of voices sprung towards me. There. Oh, I was asking time. when Please, you're growing ladies. your hair out. When I'm growing my hair out? Yeah. Growing now, you little shit. <laughs> you should see the, the, it's, it's, it's actually pretty long at the back. It's like grown a horrible little <laughs> mullet at the back. Because I haven't yeah. been able to got, trim it in the right places. On. My plan was to basically take this. That's like, long, man. Like, you should shave your hair, Brent. And then cut what off is the, that? Uh, the blonde. Right. Um, <laughs> and just cut off all the blonde. Like, do this one at a time. Cut off the blonde like that. And I, would, I was going to stream it for content. And I was going to shave my back and sides here. Right. Um, and do like, do, try and do a fade again. Um, but then I was informed that apparently hair doesn't grow at an even rate <laughs> and so that might look very stupid but i still think i might do it because this is just it would be quite funny this is getting out of anyway hand. what i was getting to oh was christopher has just gone bald christopher's uh -huh. just shaved his head and he yeah. was responding in the comments to stylosa and he was saying oh yeah i'm doing fine apart from some visa issues so it seems like it might be affecting a a, a couple of the players involved that are um that are more, you know, European or, um, yeah. I suppose, EQO isn't European really, but yeah. The, I imagine it's pretty hard to get area. visas from places where there are COVID variants. 
Yes, that's probably yeah, what, I think what that's it comes a, down to. Yeah, yeah. even I though, think the UK is on like a full lockdown, right? I'm not really too sure. Yeah, that you're not allowed to travel yes. unless it's essential, essentially yeah. outside of the country. Have they been living in the UK? I'm not even sure. I don't know. I don't know where don't they know. are. Yeah, I don't know that's, where in the world they live right now. That would be really unfortunate if a lot of those players couldn't end up getting visas. I I have faith that a solution will be worked out because you're not playing on LAN. You don't necessarily need to be in South Korea. It would be yeah. useful. A neighboring country, perhaps? Build an island. No, not an island. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, if there's a neighboring country which has a little bit more uh, leeway North in terms Korea? of visa process. What? No, no, no I'm not talking no, about North Korea. Korea. I'm talking about, like... <laughs> a, that's a joke. That's a joke. Funny <laughs> that's a North joke. Korea. <laughs> a Southeast Asian country or something. <laughs> That has a bit more looser yeah. visa restrictions that you can still play in the same time zone um, mm. with, you know, the same ping and not too many problems. Then that's an option, you know, if you if they want to explore that um, and get them as close the, as possible. Yeah, out of all the teams to be having this issue, I feel like I don't know. I've just got a lot of faith in Philly to sort it. You know, they're very committed to figuring out logistical yeah. solutions. Us. Yeah. I mean, they got. I, I mean, they go with they got money. <laughs> but yeah, they probably sure, also works. like. If they knew that there was, like, I'd imagine, if there was, like, a visa issue and they were practicing right now and they thought it could, like, really affect, like, results, they would potentially sign somebody for the interim who could be in South Korea or whatnot. Which yeah, might be didn't... what this partly is. Because if he yeah, is could be... having to play remotely, then Rascal, as a Korean player, is going to be much yeah. more uh, easily poised. Yeah, didn't we talk about this? That T1 had a good main support in case they need to replace Yeah, I think we did. Wasn't it, like, unique or something? Yes, I believe you're right. Uh, we also talked about last time where, uh, you know, if you had a double flex support lineup, like, Rascal could play one of the supports, right? He could play the Baptiste, he could play... Uh, it's even like a, if they want to play him on like Brig, he could play Brig. Uh, you put a lot of to come to that. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, we've seen him play Baptiste in the past, he's been really, yeah, he's really good yeah, on it. But kind of weird, yeah, but it, that's not what I was did my rant for, you know. Like, I, you know, but you did I the rant just to get him back rascal. in the league. I, I want to see the true chooses. rascal, I want to see him his full potential and not just be labeled like the, the flex guy, the funny flex guy who comes in and plays support once in a while. I don't know, let, so let rascal fuck. Routine. What do you mean the funny flex guy? Yeah, like he's not like he's, you get like he's going out track. there telling jokes. Yeah, I'm I'm stoked that Rascal is going to be in a team, presumably getting playtime again. Um, it was just going to be a waste, I think, if he wasn't involved in the Overwatch League. Um, assuming he wanted to be a part of it, which clearly he does. Um, so yeah, I mean, just really, really solid news, you know, to open things up with here. Yep. Um, nice. In other news, Evan Durant. Invested. That isn't other news. That's the name Invest, of a human. Investing is what I was going to say until you interrupted me. Interrupted in... you? You left an eon between the two words. Yeah, I you just Kevin said Durant. Kevin Durant. I thought we were going to talk about basketball. <laughs> we were talking about Kawhi Leonard earlier, Matt, on the uh, preview for Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. We were. Yeah, he has to become a yeah, basketball KDG, expert. Huh? KDG is yeah. a fan of the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Kevin Durant, investing in Ambox. There a he is. Reaper. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just some cool little news, I guess. Investing in uh, yeah. in Ambox, they didn't tag NYXL for whatever reason. Um, well, I think um, Andy Miller's talked about this as well. In that, a lot of, I mean, Call of Duty is just way more mainstream when it comes to US yeah. people, culture, yeah, yeah. investors. A lot of these guys that invest in esports teams get into it because they they recognize the game that's being played and they I mean like it says in the article he is a Call of Duty player right right, right. there you go sure yeah, yeah. I, I mean it, this, okay. this is pretty cool uh but, kind of kind of directly kind of indirectly related to the MYX so go on Matt what were you gonna say no I think this is awesome where you can get an athlete who plays in the city who plays video games like yeah, invested in that team right yeah, Kevin Durant plays for Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn is in New York, in case you really don't know. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 to get athletes that are involved already at the city like level, kind of like being an ambassador of that city, to now be an ambassador of the esports teams of that city, uh, I think is awesome. 
Uh, and I think this also paves the way for more athletes to get involved too, right? Uh, you know, somebody like Carl uh, Anthony Towns, who plays for the Timberwolves, like he's a huge Call of Duty player that you have him at a lot of the COD events. I know there's a Minnesota Call of Duty team, you know, Devin Booker, he plays a lot of Call of Duty. He even plays with like a, you know, Nade Shot and stuff. He's wore like the 100 Thieves merch to like the games, which is kind of crazy to see. Like they have the shots of him walking into the arena and he's got like a 100 Thieves sweatshirt on. Uh, to get to get some of these more uh you know athletes who kind of are in tune with gaming culture involved i think it's just great overall do you think you can get him for a content piece matt no okay well, right well do you remember on. the do you remember the interview that matt did with a basketball player at owl where he, st- where he was yeah. stood on a ladder yeah <laughs> like jenny dude. fry uh he plays a ton of wow he I've he travels with a console and Place over one. I've never on the seen road. You No, 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 no. Like... We should no, no. We shouldn't give this guy credit. I actually tweeted tweeted out a couple of months ago that Overwatch Overwatch wasn't his ca- kind of game anymore. Oh. So we're waiting for Overwatch Two. Oh. He got he, he, he became part of those people who are like, Ooh. oh, we've been waiting for Overwatch Two for so long. We're a lost cause, you know. Like, Wait, who we should go this? to other games. I was chatting for a couple of months. He'll back. come back. He'll, He'll come, come crawling back. back. <laughs> yeah. How dare Channing Fry go and play another game while while he waits for the sequel to the other game that he likes? The, the tweet How was dare like, he? you guys are not the shit anymore. And I was like, oh, I felt so targeted. I was like, damn. All right. Damn well, you, you guys Channing like memes? Fry. I love memes. Okay. Well, the next news yeah. is pretty relevant to that in a is way. Is it your SR? Huh? No, I'm kidding. Never mind. Never mind. Apache but... Mario. Whisper oh. on the wind. Mm. Oh. And uh, there's news about it as well. Yeah. What's the news? Um, yeah. He is joining a company. Wow. As a Whoa. content. The meme director. Content guy. I don't know his title. He's the meme but director of the Overwatch League and CDL now. Apparently going to be working with, with the CDL and the Overwatch League. In some capacity. I don't know in what. I, I thought that I, I thought this was bait. <laughs> I didn't think this was real, but apparently it's real. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, that's... Who are AOE Creative? Is this a, uh, an outside agency that the... Uh, Overwatch yeah, it's, does... it, it seems like it's an outside ad agency, yeah. Outside ad agency that gets... Uh, presumably, they're going to be working on the Overwatch League and CDL in some capacity. I mean, this is... You know, cool. what, what a glow up for Bad Patch Amari. Oh, yeah. You know, the development, the storyline. This, story was, this no, was it's because. Glow up? It always was glowing. Well, okay. Bad Patch Amari was always glowing, but I mean, uh, maybe not glow up <laughs> is the right term. This was use. because they finished Sado is marketable. That's, that's, what, yeah. that's what got him the job. That's what got him the job. <laughs> what is. Oh. What am I looking at? Subnautica? I don't know. What is this? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just, don't a, know. just a header. Anyway. It's cool, though. It's cool to see people from the community getting jobs. I like <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah, I mean... One day when Brent gets a job, we'll all be very happy for him as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're wondering why I've been dressing like an absolute bum the past three years. That's, I, I remember reading somewhere that you should, um, you know, if, if the worse you dress in the workplace, it means like... Well, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the original <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, piece of advice that people give is you should dress for the job you want, not the yes. job you have. That's the, that's the like, wholesome <laughs> advice. Yep. You've subverted that to say when you live in LA, people like see tech CEOs just wear t shirts and sweats. Yeah, I mean Bren Bren Not dresses society. like uh I don't know, he's like he, he moved to Portland and writes books in a Starbucks or something. I don't know. Like <laughs> That's he like That's uh, nice though. I'm envious of Bren. You remember when I used to walk around the office, Matt? Uh, I mean, okay, so this is what would happen. We'd all have a talent <laughs> meeting, everybody sat around. I would usually text like Bren or Josh. I'm like, oh, you need a ride. Like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Bren, uh, the door closes. I'm looking around. Everybody's there. Oh, well, where's Brennan? I'm Where not, I wasn't Brennan? like that much. Opens the door, slides in. Doesn't even have shoes on in his sandals with socks. Uh, <laughs> it's like 90 degrees out. Just absolute, just I, the I worst. wasn't like that much, though. Uh, yeah, but like, okay, so... Like being light that much, like that's the issue. Well, like you've already acknowledged you were light, but just like, oh well, you know, I think, I, no. I don't miss work that much, you know. I, I'm I only, think only you're a bit, you know. Really? Why are we talking about Bren's office antics? Because it ties into like the, 
I would come in dressed, essentially, like to this. impress. This, you know, yeah, <laughs> that is literally the outfit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, that is this actually is the, the outfit. Like my cardigan and that's the Brennan t-shirt, outfit, right? and yeah. I'd come trundling in. No, the jacket, because dude. Where's thought, the jacket? Like in my mind, I always thought of like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. The less you, you dress, you, the oh. more you impress. Yeah, I thought like the more you like, you know, I'm I'm in a role where I don't really need. To, I'm not having meetings with CEOs. Yeah, I can. I'll I'll walk like I'm. What the hell were we talking about? How do we get onto this? Bad Pachamari. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. How do we get? Pachamari, it's marketable. Hey, you want to talk about some Overwatch stuff outside of this thing? Heck the, yeah. the retail patches. Yeah, I mean, can you're I the one who literally dragged this up. Pachamari. Win. Win. I'm happy for you, buddy. Good Big stuff. Big dubs. Big dub. Big dubs all around. Retail patch note. There was a retail patch four days ago from the time we're recording this. Five days ago from the point of which you're watching this at home. You don't know they're watching it live. <laughs> they could be watching it live. They might. Yeah, this is live. Be. You should always be watching live when it comes out, when it premieres. The, the, the patch notes made some changes. Genji does some changes. That's the only one I know about, actually. I'm going to be real with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, so they, 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 his shuriken recovery. What's, what's wrong with you, Matt? I, I love the way you intro that. Oh, yeah, the patch notes. Yeah, they made some changes. Why the fuck would there be a patch if there's no changes? Like, like what would they be patching? Like, why would we be covering it if there is no changes in the patch? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a patch. Uh, Oh, some changes in the patch. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. It. So, so they did, they did this, uh, this recovery time, which I think is what is this? Just attack speed. It increases attack speed, right? I it's believe fire so. That's what it says. Increasing, increasing Genji's speed. fire rate to enable him to have more impact outside of his yes. ultimate, increasing the cost of Dragon Blade to account for the increased damage potential. Makes a lot of sense. I like this change. Making Genji more useful in the neutral ah. fights. Yep. Because before he was always just a blade bot. But you, now you're trying, to, you're trying to push him into that other direction. You're still, making a, you're still keeping a Dragon Blade as this very powerful ultimate, but you're pushing him to have more impact during these neutral fights, which is always where he was kind of weakest. Yes. Is this, a, is this a revert of the change where they made him really strong for a bit? Didn't oh, they up know. the damage with that as well? They I think are. they reduced the, the, the time, and then they, they also up the damage, hey. but then they didn't touch the ultimate cost, and that's why you were able to get Blade in like, it felt like yes. 10 seconds. It they, they yeah. didn't do that. I do remember that they didn't do that. When they made Genji incredible for like Summer Showdown era, they didn't really touch the ultimate speed of the, the, the Dragon Blade was created, as far as I'm aware. And so people were getting it in like pff, record times. <laughs> Dashing through three right clicks and a blade. Yeah. Is this the equivalent of giving Genji a Glock? No. I don't know what the recovery time of a Glock is, but I think it's probably pretty quick. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's not as fast as in the shurikens, I think. No, no, you know, it's, it's the, uh, the alternate burst fire mode. Bra, bra, bra. Mm. I, uh, you know? Oh. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, changes yeah. like this, though. Take some power away from just, like, you well, know, the hero being selected only for the ultimate and actually kind of give something back to, like, the primary fire. I don't like this change, man. Why? Because now I'm only going to be able to build one dragon blade in a team fight. <laughs> or, like, in an entire round you know, is what I mean. Don't give yourself you too much credit. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say. Not in a team fight. There's no way that's happened ever. But I'm... I, we... I think also, it must be said, that Blizzard should be extremely careful... This is a direct message to Jeff. You've got to be extremely careful. <laughs> direct message. Direct message. Di yeah, direct direct message. message. Listen, oh, listen. Jesus. 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 He can call the shots. What do you mean, direct message? You have to Jeff's be. Jeff's going to send a direct message to you, bro. You're not going to be a log on the battle net. He's going to be like, yeah, here's a direct <laughs> message right back. <laughs> you have to be extremely careful when you make changes like this. Because Why? we as a community have invented the AKM blade as a structured measure of time. Mm. Oh and if you God. mess with the AKM blade, <laughs> if, if now people are going to be getting their blades way, way longer than AKM, it, taking even longer, what use is that measurement of time anymore? The AKM anymore? blade goes away. Oh, you, couldn't you, we just go back and look at that damage and then equate it or just exactly. add 10% You have to, to make sure it, that yeah. the AKM blade stays as the standard unit of time measurement. Otherwise, <laughs> yep. everything falls to true, pieces in Overwatch. True. So, yeah, yeah, true. What... what all right, I can see where you're coming from, but be careful, Jeff. What if you changed how long a yard was every year? You can't do that. Uh, exactly. That's what we would do. If we were in the experimental Crazy. patch, we would have 
we would have taken Dragon Blade and just made it a two minute and 30 second cooldown. So we would have <laughs> set I... it to the AKM blade time. <laughs> just, you can't build towards it. You just you just wait for it to be active. <laughs> that would be so good. Why, why haven't you tried that ever in an experimental card? What? Well, ultimates on cooldown? Cool yeah. So everyone starts weird. with like an ultimate at the start. What do you mean? Well, I just, you everybody, know. Everybody, I mean, you mentioned the first fight, everybody just comes out, throws all their ultimates. And no, just... because it starts with a cooldown, you moron. Right, it oh, starts oh, on oh. cooldown. Uh, the, the thing, I mean, it's interesting. Would it become too structured where it's like, oh, first team fight to do these because they come online first, second team yeah, fight to do I mean, these yes. because That's they come yeah. They're very flowcharty in terms of your windows of opportunities to fight uh, get limited. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What do, they, what do they do to May? They increase her healing while she's in an ice block, right? Yeah, because yep. she can't take healing, so they yeah, so reduce they or her gave her more healing for okay. herself. Makes sense. Yep. This is like yeah. a, a tiny little Logical change. change. Uh, Farah, the next Farah change her... is for Bren. Thank God. This is for me! <laughs> yeah, I, every time I played Farah, I fell off the map. Yep, I was um, playing Floor Farah so often. <laughs> it, it was so difficult to play Sky Farah. I mean... It felt like you couldn't really fly. Like Echo could stay longer in the air than Farah. It felt like. Yeah, uh, I mean, they, this is a really good change. For, for, I I had to learn how to do the really high jump. You know where you shoot the floor as you jump, the super jump on Farah, because otherwise I just couldn't stay in the air because my fuel Isn't management just is literally dodgy. shooting the floor and jumping. No, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a timing. No, there's not. There is. You can't just no 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 no, no no no. There's a bit of a timing. <laughs> if you think you just shoot and jump at the same time you are you shoot and then you use your your thrusters sorely mistaken no, it's, it's sorely very mistaken. you had to learn that it's complex <laughs> <laughs> well, okay it's uh, complex no. i still mess it up quite yeah. a lot <laughs> my mechanics aren't where they used to be back in the day you know but uh yeah the, i like this change the reaper adjustments they, they made them fly, right? No. They no, increased no. the damage per projectile because what they, what they found was that they, they made this change and presumably the numbers just didn't support it because Reaper can take fights at a more medium to close range, but he lost a lot of effectiveness up close and that kind of like his real power, I suppose. Right. Um, so they're just offsetting that by just increasing his damage. Um, Hard to tell when it's such a minute change. It but is a tiny change, but yeah. sometimes right there's little changes you need. Just tip it over the edge. Yeah, no, it tip really it is. Tip it over the edge. It really is. Don't need much. Uh, there's not really much more to add with that one. This next change, though, I'm pretty happy with um, because this is a Sigma buff after the copious amounts of... Oh, nerfs. yes. Hallelujah. Sigma has just been out of the meta <laughs> for 0.5 of a second. Let's buff but, him back in but, again. Okay. As someone who played a lot of Sigma recently mm -hmm. and got boosted as a result of it, your SR got inflated because no, you played, played a lot of Sigma. No, I played him after he got nerfed. Oh. You, yeah. You played all of the Sigma after he got nerfed. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, I played, was a so post-nerf Sigma 1 trick. I, I was getting back into the game when he was buffed, and then when I was really getting into the game, when I played like 500 games in one season, I, that was when the post-nerf came in. Oh, right. And okay. it was like somewhere in, a, somewhere in like right in that transfer period. I was playing a lot of Sigma, and the change was brutal to his shield cooldown. Like it yeah, was... It is brutal so this is yeah. just it's a minor decrease but it's something that's going to make him feel a little bit more fluid to play i'm a big fan of this i don't think this is going to mean that double shield is the meta again um maybe it will who knows i can't predict that but uh, yeah. it's it, it at least makes more comps viable because as i understand it right now double shield is not really on the cards you can play it situationally but as far as i'm aware it's like a lot of rush comps that are being played at the moment so you want a healthy meta you want to open it back up to at least a little bit of uh, potential with Sigma being played. Yeah. Uh, and I think, uh, I think the changes with like far as well, right. With like rush comps, her being able to stay in the air more and put down more damage and not be touched. I think that helps as well uh, with comps. that want to be, uh, you know, if they don't want to rush. I don't know what Johnny's doing with what the dog over there. But... Yeah. The, the, the... Can't see. Uh, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can see. Kind of see. No, they can see yeah. the dog. See you the don't dog. see the dog. I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, uh, what, um, Zarya changes. Oh yeah, uh, that's what I was gonna say. How do you predict that? What? <laughs> How do you know I was gonna talk about Zarya next? Because it was the only one left. Oh, they, I'm convinced they they nerfed this after watching my stream. To be honest, 
Because I was getting too much work done, you, on Zari. I'm telling you. I you realize getting, that Rush is like the meta of the entire top 500. I was yeah. getting too much work done on Zari. I'm telling you. I was coming into those games like a, like a third DPS player. I was demolishing on my Zari. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. And I, they've, they've made this energy change because I've unlocked the secrets of Zarya, you see. Um, where a lot of players struggle, I have found, I found my bread and butter. And they make these changes just to, just to bring me back down to earth. So, I mean, or the actual reason that they've made these changes is because Zarya has been the prominent off tank in, I mean, no, Zarya hasn't been the prominent off tank because we had Sigma for ages, but Zarya has been usable in Ryan Zarya, but also Ball Zarya was double, used double for bubble. quite a while and yep. Monkey Zarya too. Mm -hmm. And I think, I, I think they, from what they said here, which is that she was having unintendedly more impact than they wanted across a larger range of archetypes. So, so they, they use some wording like that that made me think that they kind of want her role to be a bit bit less versatile. Like it felt like her damage was good enough that she could yeah. fulfill every role as the off tank. She was too good in too many comps. Oh, that's kind of what it seems like. Overperforming uh, in a variety of team compositions. Yeah. I was picking her into anything. You, you know, yeah, you could you yeah. could pick her with Ball, you could pick her with Winston, you could pick her with Ryan. Uh, she was really bad with Sigma. Yeah, I but mean, the only that's people were still that. playing her, honestly. What Zarya Sigma? Yeah, I mean, people were still playing a bit of that, like back, I don't know, months yeah, ago at I this point. But people were playing a, a bit, yeah. in my opinion. But hey, that's the why now. I mean, I think I think it's a good change. I feel like Zarya. I feel like we've seen so many times on Overwatch's history where, like, Zarya is really good, and then she gets a nerf, and then she goes away for, like, months at a time. Uh, that, I think she, because I think in the right hands, with, like, proper bubble timings and whatnot, like you, like Bren said, you become, like, uh, 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 you become, like, the DPS for a team, not even a DPS. Like, you can just pump out so much damage and have so much survivability that she becomes a little bit of an issue. So do you think that they should give her more utility and less damage to make her more of like uh less volatile of tank I like don't in terms of so. balance where like you can, she actually has well I mean it's pretty straightforward I guess you give her more utility and she just doesn't get like out of control in some metas where it's like oh my god she's dealing like mm. more damage than both your DPS combined because she's fully charged and doesn't die where it's like Hey, you can utilize your bubble for some cool stuff or maybe add an ability or something. Because we've seen in Overwatch 2, they're trying to make heroes more interactive by giving them either like an extra ability, more charges, uh, more ways for you to actively like use abilities and contribute to your team. And maybe the key for Saria to make her less one-dimensional when it comes to the damage output is just to like make her give her some fun kind of additional ability or way to help your team other than to just be fully charged and beam down your opponent. Give her a jetpack so she can take high ground. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> See, my, uh, my opinion of it, Johnny, is That's I would rather... Uh, I'd <laughs> we'll rather see them go... I'd rather see them go the route of making the other tanks more feel like Zarya. Like, Zarya is just very fun to play, and... I think you can I see when you can see when the other team has a bad Zarya and you can clearly tell when the other team has like a good Zarya like the carry potential. I I really like that type of play. I think a lot of Ooh. I I don't think you would have a lot of issues with uh people playing the tank role if there were more tanks that played and functioned like that as opposed to hey, stand there with your shield and get your ass beat while I try and do something. Uh, that's not really that fun for people. I'd like to see him do more well, stuff like It's hard, right? Zarya because is. you can actually punish Saria so easily when like her bubbles are down. Like you're like, oh, Saria doesn't have bubbles. We can just run her over. Whereas like Diva has a ton of HP and has like a big mech and can also fly. And then Sigma has a shield um, and he has his ability that just sucks in the damage. I The name escapes me. Kinetic but it's like... Kinetic grasp. kinetic grasp. Yeah, but like they're so tanky that if you make them powerful in damage, they're just like, they're powerful and deal tons of damage. Whereas Saria has some kind of weakness to her in yeah, that, I think, like... I think Zarya is yeah. one of the best designed agent, uh, 
Bloody no. Oh, wow. He's done God. it again. He's done oh, it again. God, he's done it. fraud. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to. He, he's, he's bad. He's, he's bad. done it. Los Angeles okay. Valorant, he's by bad. the way. Zarya is one of the best designed heroes that they have in the entire game, I think, because yeah. you have to be excellent with her bubbles to avoid getting punished. If you're bad, you get punished really quickly. And, and so your decision-making and your positioning... Also, she can't take high grounds like the other off-tanks can. Okay, the other off-tanks. I mean, uh, D.Va when I'm saying this. But, you know, you're, you're fairly glued to the ground when you play a Zarya comp. Um, and she has to really, you have to really put a lot of thought into how you want to synergize with your other, um, your, your other tanks and how to work your positioning. And she requires quite a lot of pocketing in order to get value out of her. I think she's a really, really well-designed hero. And she has her flaws and she has huge benefits. So she occupies a really good niche. Um, she's not an all-rounder. She doesn't do everything like Sigma or Diva does. Yeah, she's still an all-rounder though, in a very good way. It's like she can function with a lot of different main tanks. It's like you can use Monkey, Monkey Saria. We've seen some Ball Saria, uh, Reinhardt Saria, like which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's just, it's the strength of the bubble that, that allows yeah. Yeah. that to be the case. But I do miss Diva nicely because it's on a cooldown. Yeah, I miss Diva. Diva's fun to watch. I I just I'm just not a big fan of Sigma. I don't know what the general consensus is on Sigma. I, I, I just like don't find Sigma. him very fun. No, I think Sigma is very I satisfying hate... to play. Uh, when I have to, get, have to play Sigma in ranked, I just like, it's, he's, he's so, I don't know. I, I feel like there's not a lot of like skill mechanics to him. Like obviously you, you have the rock, so? but, like, but like the rock is like, so like you don't have a ton of impact with the rock. Like you but can his, cancel his someone out of a channeling fire. ability. You're just spamming primary fire and putting your shield up, and it's I just find it very boring. If you can aim boring. with your primary fire, though, you can farm, actually. That's the one thing I like about Sigma. Yeah, but it's like... a super boring primary fire. It's well, like it's you're nice. like... throwing <laughs> fucking Pokemon balls at your opponents, and I, you, I, you, I, there's I no reload point. mechanic. There's no reload mechanic. The damage, like how you deal it, is very boring, and then you just have a rock that you can't really just... throw. It's just like because one of those characters that just spams, cool chokes I, I, and stuff. I quite like him. Maybe I'm in the minority. No, I think a lot of people do like Sigma, but I, yeah. I, I fall on the side of Jonathan where I find his primary fire to be extremely unengaging, to be honest. Yeah. Where you don't like the rebound? You don't, you don't think about think, like the rebound? You I think it's cool. It's a cool idea, but in... I don't know. When I watch people play, and when I sometimes play him, because I don't play him very often, it's just... <laughs> it's just Spamming. I mean, you're just holding down yeah. mouse one at all times to try and, and then you're just thinking about where in you an alleyway. Aim. Yeah, the, the, but <laughs> timing but, aspect of it doesn't factor in whatsoever. But then, but if you're good with it, it's like it's a it's a it feels rewarding if you're good at anyway. I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, it, it feels rewarding if you're good at aiming with it because you're not going to get into it. There's a DPS out of position. You hit two directs, and suddenly they're on fifty. They're like fifty percent of their health. Yeah, and like you. Hit another two directs. Ooh, hit that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I just shit at aiming. But like even Winston, I think it's fun to like, because you only have so much ammo with Winston. So you have to preserve it pretty wisely, especially like when you're chasing down a flex support and you're like, I only have this much ammo. And if you waste it, you won't be able to kill a flex support. And the way you have to manage like your melee with your primary fire to like extract the most like burst towards the end when you finish someone off or like when you leap and like punch someone like i find that engaging because i'm like the way you have to integrate punches with your primary fire is winston close range i just find engaging but like sigma it's just like boom, 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 boom. i just thought of an incredibly boom, boom. dumb idea when johnny was talking about that <laughs> okay i don't even wanna... so imagine <laughs> if <laughs> so so if Sigma's kinetic grasp, instead of giving him shielding, gave him one very big hypersphere worth of damage he could throw back. <laughs> like, imagine oh, he just sucks out, like, and he could just throw this thing into an alleyway and just nuke somebody. Oh, that would actually be really fun. Yeah, people would be scared to shoot the Sigma as well. Yeah, because you know if you powered him up, like you would see his it hand would like he'd glow. Still die. Well, maybe. Uh, you'd see his hand an glow idea. and build up and just throw something massive out. And suddenly you just get one shot. You know what, Matt? That kind of idea is so good that you know maybe you should have been part of a panel that went on. <laughs> what a segue! What a segue! Panel, huh? 
Because they you guys must did have... the uh, they did the thingy. It little round robin table where they went over patch notes, patch changes. Oh, it's getting now, worse. The segue's getting worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. you're on a roll. Did you watch it? Two they hours did of the it? thingy, the round robin panel thingy. Yeah. Don't know what <laughs> that means. <laughs> Didn't they? What do you mean round robin? Like a little round robin <laughs> <laughs> door <laughs> tournament-ish. But with people in a Zoom call. Okay. Sure. Um, and they, they went over, they each had heroes and they went over them and they proposed changes and some of them got shut down some of them got okayed uh, and we actually have a list so, now i didn't watch it it was very long but i got the gist of it and apparently people assumed that this was going into the live game really yes a lot of well, people were mean? like a lot of the i mean the the uh blizzard or the, the overwatch account on the forums had to put out a post saying like this is just for the tournament none <laughs> of this is going into retail like calm down it's going in the experimental card. That's yeah, it's why going it's into called the experimental, the experimental card, card. But it's card not going to be placed into the actual patches. It's right. just for the tournament. But people thought that they had got these pro players together, and they had these were changes that were being that were going to be put into the game with testing. <laughs> That's and, hilarious. And like the comments were like, anybody complains about plat people balance changes. I'll direct them to this one, like for the pro players. But it, it's it was like a, it's for the fun tournament, right? That's what it's all yeah. for. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of this was supposed to be serious and how much of it was just supposed to be. Wouldn't it be cool if? Yeah, it was very much like it's. This is all. I don't know. Uh, but I think when presumably when they recorded this, this is before a lot of the current experimental card changes went through. So you see that Sigma, which space presumably, I I didn't watch it again. I'm assuming this is how it works. Matt, you can elaborate mm -hmm. sigma was space's hero and he proposed a change and everybody else voted on it yeah yeah so but this change has already been implemented well in he's a genius then isn't he yeah he's a genius yeah um but i i thought it was an interesting way soon was just what was soon even what scoping sound cue i don't what you think I, it, yeah yeah, I mean, that's for the what? A global widow's scope I mean, sound, I think he it's wanted. Not in. I, I uh, love I Fran's idea for the self nano. I think that'll be, that would get super toxic in real, in like real <laughs> ranked because the Anas would yeah. just forever nano themselves. It's a meme. I'd be doing um, that all the time and I'd love it. Oh my God, you game. would be insufferable playing that. <laughs> yeah, it I would wouldn't just play be, with you anymore. <laughs> oh my God, it would be terrible. But that. I think it's kind of a cool change though and like a, in an actual setting to see I'm surprised if... that they didn't vote for speed boost on that on that i know i wanted that them to bring it back like... no yeah, why wouldn't they I bring mean, that back it was mental it do was you crazy. remember yeah. what it was yeah, like it was crazy it was dumb he's yeah. the bringer of death and destruction <laughs> cleaving his way through the enemy it was fun though it was funny to watch yeah i i don't understand if we score back up what the hell is a widow make a venom mine buff it's so unspecific like I was, damage I, um, yeah i think they buff the damage on it i don't know i thought it was something uh, to do with the range of it the I damage is increased under duration and, yeah uh, it's okay. just buffed overall like that is so boring everything about it the range the duration the damage but i think it's such a it is such a boring ability to be honest it's just used to be like is anyone flanking me there no, but it's so useful it's, they should turn like it, it serves into, a purpose yeah it does serve a purpose they should have turned it into like a robot that runs and latches onto an enemy. And then applies vulnerable. No. <laughs> so, race. <laughs> no, a boom but they should turn it into a little a robot that runs around until it finds an enemy, and then it latches onto them, and then just begins spouting poison around them. Mm. Poisoning yeah. everybody in the vicinity. That would be a Venom Mind buff. It would be a huge buff. <laughs> I think mean, that would be pretty cool. Uh, Imagine if you got to the place where you threw Venom Mines into Graviton Surges. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, you could combo it. It'd be like a, a, a combo play. Yeah. I'm, I, I like that. All right, what did Jake and Dante cook up in the lab? Oh, uh, they, they wanted They tried everything. to go with a bunch of junk crap buffs, but the only one that went through was... And it barely did. The minimum concussion mine damage from 30 to 35. Three out of six votes. Uh, I think this Reaper one is going to be no shadow step voice line. So we can TP with just absolutely no sound cue is going to be. Could you imagine? OK, maybe they didn't vote for the speed boost because you would have had a a unrecognizable teleporting Reaper with the speed boost in your back line. Yeah, just mowing ridiculous. people down.
Yeah, that would have been wild. But yeah, it seems like Sebi Obi also wanted which whose name here is written C B O B, like he's from the seaside. <laughs> C B O B. Um, he wanted the cooldown reduced as well. So it was like you could just constantly T P behind people. No, no, no. It says <laughs> oh, down, down, down to six. six from eight. Yeah. yeah, he just wanted a, like the flanking Reaper play. The flanking style. Reaper, yeah. Which I, I can I love respect it. it. I, I, I would like to play like that. I'm a little bit annoyed that the Mercy change didn't go through here. Uh, the Val guy. extended. The extended by Valkyrie gets extended by three seconds upon an elimination. God, that'd be so good. <laughs> I would. I. I think didn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't the suggestion like a final blow rather than an elimination? Uh, I think so because the final blow. Like a, a limbs, like if you were just damage boosting right, people, just, right? You get yeah, credit. Yeah, that's, ridiculous. That's silly, I thought but, the but final blows. I thought it was is, final blows. That's really cool. Which is so funny because it just incentivizes shooting people as yeah. a Valking Mercy. I think that's really fun, actually. It, I he probably I wish saw I that uh, that Overwatch two clip with Mercy where she had like the rocket thing out of her beam, yeah. like in the in the behind the scenes, and was like, let's just turn her into a battle Mercy. Can someone Full explain time. to me the change that actually did go through? It refreshes Guardian Angel upon cooldown. So you can just use Guardian Angel immediately after using Guardian Angel? I think so. I think you can just fly, what is Guardian like Angel? zip around. It's the flying the to fly somebody. Ability. Yeah. Yeah. So that, how did it work previously? I can't even remember how it worked. I, I think it still goes on cooldown. But the cooldown was reduced when you had Valkyrie, wasn't it? I... I have was? No idea. Does this mean you can just slingshot yourself? I don't know. When you Valk? I don't know how that you would should. work. Yeah. yeah. I don't That's know enough about change. Mercy cooldowns. I, I like that. Yeah. I'm a bit upset that that extension upon elimination didn't get through. <laughs> the Ash change so is just kind of boring. They just nerfed the, the dynamite damage. Why didn't they put dynamite it? unable to be Matrix by D.Va? <laughs> I mean, why would you want that in the game? <laughs> why would, that would you want that? would have been crazy. Mate, they... <laughs> Nerfed Wrecking Ball. They? they made him smaller. Did they like make physically yeah, for the, smaller. For the most part, but making him smaller, yeah, Pile Rubber get... probably has a smaller range, but holy shit, it'll be fun. Alt generation just... on his adaptive shields, increased cooldown on his grapple hook, reduction in his ammo. Yeah, they have actually. He's just a tiny he's just a Why? he's a tiny little meme. Why has Eamon decided to kill his own character? <laughs> <laughs> Why has Eamon decided, you know what's made me mega successful and really popular at the Overwatch League level? Murder it! Get it gone! <laughs> That's I so if, uh, I think I think he brought some nerfs to the table, but like old generation on adaptive shield, it will be... Uh, oh, sorry. That's it's, a nerf. Yeah. Well, it yeah, means... It, yeah, no to, longer prevents enemies from generating ultimate charge. Yeah, that's right. That means that when people... Shoot it. Shoot it they gain, they gain ult. Ult. Yeah. Yes. Right. It's yeah. a nerf. The smaller size... Is I guess I, probably a nerf because no, it's you, a buff because you're, buff? you're reducing the you're reducing the size of the hitbox. But it's fifteen percent. Oh yeah, it's harder to hit. Yeah, it's fifteen percent. Right, it's not that sizable, but I mean, it could be. I don't know. I feel like Aemon yeah, just wants to be. I think yeah. Aemon just wants to play it as a DPS character. But it has less ammo. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. They're, I mean, he's he's just nerfed his own, his own, <laughs> his well, own I hero. Don't know. I mean, I'm interested about, to see uh, it. What do you think about the Sombra hack stuff from soon? That hack. I actually really like this. Although that hack duration, okay, the hack casting duration is kind of brutal, to be yeah. honest, because it makes it. I mean, in the, on one hand, it's it's kind of brutal, but it makes it way easier to punish. But if you do get a hack off. The duration increasing by a second. I don't know if that's going to be make that much of a difference. If it was like soon suggested things to make sure that Sombra will never be played in a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I um I like that. I like. I think that soon should be a politician because he realized that if he submitted the five to seven second buff, they were more likely to go for the five to six. Sorry, the, the nerf. They were more likely to go for the five to six second nerf. You know, he's he's. Running the manipulation games on them by giving well, them two seven, different options. Imagine being hacked for seven seconds. I know that would be ludicrous. I mean, although to be fair, it, you know, if if you if the Sombra is hacking you for a, a full second, you know, you may deserve the extra long hack. Yeah, I mean, that's not... what I think he was going for. Was that it, hacking is easier to disrupt, but if you do get hacked, it's way more punishing. Which yeah. I kind of like, as opposed to just the spamming out of it. 
that you, I, you instantly get. I feel like people are already so good at denying Sombras from getting hacks. And I also hate the idea of turning Sombra into an EMP bot. I think that's so shit. Like, okay, I, well, I th- she's not going to be played probably. No, I mean, I doubt it. Uh, Zarya, space again. I think space might actually be working on the development team uh, because <laughs> yeah, that's the second change. The guy's change. ahead of the game. The second change has already been implemented, which yeah. was the energy drain, but he's also increased the projected barrier range as well. Yeah, we've all been there, yeah. you know? We've all been there. You're playing some Overwatch. You are feeding, and I can't get in range to project our barrier. Because you guys won't follow me in because you're terrible at taking advantage of the space that I create. Uh, you're 500 oh, meters away. Oh, my God. I mean, we've all been there. Your teammates, they don't have the concept of playing together as a team. They're off in no man's land. Uh, I think this is an interesting change. What is this ludicrous yeah. shit that Super has put into the game? <laughs> <laughs> scaling the shatter duration based on distance to Reinhardt. Yeah, it's I, not that bad. It's how not does that this bad. Work? It's only from 2.5 to 3 seconds. So it's just half a second if they're close. Wait, so it's, it's longer if they're closer to you? Yeah, yeah. If they're close, you just yeah. slam them right in the face and they're knocked down for 3 seconds and then it scales down to 2.5 further away. That's the opposite way to the way I thought it would be. I thought if you landed a shatter on someone miles away... It would stun them for longer so that you could get close How to them. How does that make sense? Well, I, I'm not trying to judge it by the fucking law of the game. I'm trying if to think of it like... If you're further away from an earthquake, you take less vibrations. <laughs> yeah, I Doesn't mean... the energy dissipate as it goes out? Yeah, so like yeah, it does. I mean, that's time. why I'm saying it. It's like a balance change based on the law. But I thought the <laughs> idea of the balance change was that if you're further away from someone, it gives you time to get to them. Uh, like, you don't need no. the guy close to you to be shattered for three seconds, kinda, do you? Kind of crazy. I don't know. It's, it, it's a cool idea, though. Uh, the Brigitte change, people... I mean, there's a, there's a, when you think of heroes in this game, the people just dislike Brigitte, Sombra, would it make it to an extent? Doomfist. Doomfist. Um, yeah. Brigitte being one of them I feel like Brigitte gets the short end of the stick here because the only change that was put forward was a nerf and it was unanimous vote Yeah, just to shut it down which is the inspire healing ending upon death um, yeah I mean I don't know how big of a difference that'll make to be honest but I was hoping for something a little bit more interesting yeah I don't know interesting with Brigitte because she's like pretty what? basic as it is uh, like, make her whip flail. Like, if you hit it successfully, it refreshes your shield bash or something. I don't know. Boy, oh boy. Make it harder to hit. Make the hitbox of your flail smaller. Um, but if you hit it, you get another shield bash. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm you sure just people go. would have unanimously voted on that. So you just, like, run into the back line, shield bash, whip flail them against the wall, <laughs> and shield, shield bash shield instantly. Ba- <laughs> that would just be atrocious. Just start comboing people. Because the flail is really easy to hit on close targets. That's why you make it um, really hard to hit. Anyway, yeah, I don't they should have just given her shield bash. Uh, this yeah, her shield bash should have just been a solo earth shatter, where if you bash them, they just knock yeah. them down to the ground. This is Good why idea. I wasn't in the pattern. Uh, Soldier 76 has got some interesting changes. Yo, oh, I like. So Sammy Hobie was doing some negotiating, apparently. Yeah. yeah. He really <laughs> Look was. at the Helix Rocket damage. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he was like, okay, Hobie. okay, I'll say you on this one, guys. Helix Rocket's <laughs> two charges. Everyone was like, yeah, that's really interesting. <laughs> damage changed from... Hun- so I'm a little bit confused at this. It seems they went like... back and forth, and they met at like yeah, a Yeah, because he ground. talked them back up. He probably started at 100. They said, no, 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 75. He countered with 90, and then they settled in the middle at 80. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah, this just proves that Sabi Orby should be a negotiator. <laughs> he should actually... So, Sabi Orby, uh, if he ever stops playing for teams in the Overwatch League, become a player agent, because <laughs> you are primed to get your team bank. You come in with the, the, with the huge one. <laughs> They should get twice the amount of money. Well, well, okay, wait, wait a second. No, 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 no. Way lower. All right, one point five <laughs> times the amount of money. <laughs> we'll meet you somewhere in the middle, you crazy bastard. He went from, yeah, and then he went from just removing the south damage from helix rockets. So presumably, he just wanted to be like jumping all over the place with them. Yeah, which would well. have been cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. But instead, they reduced the south damage. Instead, they just they agreed on like a. A smaller change to it. And they increased the, the range of the tactical visor, which I don't think would be much. It, it's a very niche yeah, change, it's right? Incredibly niche. 
Um, some of these from Allen on Faro would have been sick. Yeah, the yeah. I mean, Allen's coming out with some interesting changes. I would have liked to have seen some of these. The the only, the one that went through was ten percent more damage when on the ground. How do how does? But the then also it takes five percent less damage when in the air. Right. How. I'm surprised that the game can actually track when you're on the ground. Like, for a Farah, if you just start jumping, when are you... Like, when, if you just use a normal jump without using <laughs> your boosters or fuel or anything, are you on the ground? Are you in the air? No, you're, you're jumping. You literally just said you jumped. Yeah, but is the game precise enough to be able to track that? If you're falling... Yeah. If you're, if you're dropping from a high ground to a low ground... You count as in the air, so you take less damage. It's so it's such a weird concept to track accurately. I'm yeah, so think. baffled that like you, 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 like that's how you like that's what you care about. I, I mean, I'm thinking about what? if this was in the game. <laughs> All right, it's five percent like, damage, ten percent damage. Jump like, around on the map, testing the damage input. Just like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, but I'm also. The, the way that the game already tracks people being on the ground, like for Earthshatter, for example, it has like a certain amount that you can be off the ground and still get shattered. So I'm wondering whether... Oh, yeah, like, that's true. Like, do your feet literally have to be touching the ground for this to happen? I don't know. Yeah, I think probably. It's pretty, I, don't know, I, I mean, that know. would mean that you're on the ground is when you're touching the ground. I know, and Matthew, know. what on the ground means. I, <laughs> there is no mole character that goes into the ground. <laughs> you just stand <laughs> on objects. I know what that means. God, they should have taken our idea for McCree and given his uh, last bullet in each clip headshot damage no matter where they, where they shot. That's a ludicrous change. Well, they, they didn't do anything for McCree, so we'll move uh, on to, to Jonak here. With his Jonak changes. wanted the enemies to take damage while in Transcendence. Literally just use it as a... a, a I, like I, just, that would be a side show change. To, just right in. Jonak's the only one who wanted to, like, buff his main. <laughs> like, he's the only one who wants to just be coming into this with just pure power. The only thing he got uh, away with was increased speed. I, I even also then, two this, people voted no. Yeah. <laughs> I also think this just, like shows you exactly how overwatch players think of where their individual hero they think is bad and needs these ridiculous buffs and then everybody yeah. else is like no 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 let's let's can calm I, it down can i pitch you guys on something mm. yeah let's hear it is what i would have put forward headshots explode the <laughs> splash damage the surrounding people wow I think that should be... I think they should nerf Ash's damage and add that to Ash. I have... I've never thought about that before, but that would be such a cool way of trying to counter, like, rush comps, I think. The dyn it, like, it works with the dynamite as yeah, well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you, so you because also, damage, that means that Ash wouldn't... Explode. Ash wouldn't be as useful in just pure <laughs> DPS metas. It would be specifically trying to counter them grouping up a lot. Now, I don't know how that would work. I mean, on in Zen, the war. that's bananas, though. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want it on Zen, so you, like, you hit a volley for a choke point, and then suddenly two people dude, just they die. should have had a... Let's turn the monk into a no. bloodthirsty Diablo character. <laughs> no, dude, when, but when I don't Zen mean the heads pops... explode. I mean, like, I don't know how they would work this into a family-friendly setting. Maybe the shrapnel would explode. Right, right, yeah. There's just bits of skull fragments hitting other people. They yeah. should have made a change where when, the when Zen of Reinhardt just smacks Lucio <laughs> and kills him. When Zen pops transcendence, it places a Discord orb on everybody on the other team that's in line of sight. That is so broken. That is so <laughs> Could you broken. Imagine? All right, what? We'll pull up the changes. I just want Senyata to like play music when he goes into Transcendence, like a melody, and then you can buy different melodies for your Transcendence. So you just, oh, you, just you just zoom around and you play different I, music. I like in the this end. Tracer, the uh, the more HP, but then the longer uh, cooldown on yeah, recall. They, I mean, they. I mean, this was soon as Sabiobi, so they increased the health of her, and they wanted to decrease yeah. her blink charges. I think that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, kind of wild. But then her recon uh, cooldown got increased as well to compensate for the increased health. It's an interesting change. Yeah. It means that a recall, I guess, is more punishing. Yeah, but Tracer herself is less punishing. Uh, yeah. Or, or less easily punished. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know where they were going with this one. But, <laughs> look at, uh, look at Gooch Wayne's like, yo, I'm not going to push it. I just want to live a little bit longer, bro. Like, that's <laughs> it. Like, I'm not asking for much. I just want to live a little bit. <laughs> 15 extra armor. <laughs> and just, that's give me, it. just give me 15 armor, bro. I'm good. Did Space just forget uh, that Roadhog was a thing? Uh, he's like, I have no intention of playing Roadhog. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll leave it. Seems we'll like it, it, right? Batiste. God. Got... I like the immortality field change. Yeah, Batiste got mad nerfed, but the, uh, the immortality field change, I think, needed to be done. Or, well, not needed, but it was a long time coming is what people were asking for this kind of change. I want to see immortality field break after it absorbs X amount of damage. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, like a flat, uh, it just soaks up a bit of damage. Like, uh, yeah. Almost like it taunts and just sucks in all of the damage. What? And then you were playing too much while, mate. About? Taunts. Taunts. Yeah, like, uh, well, I mean, there, there's not like. Legends have you never taunt? heard of the taunt mechanic? In no, games. I know. I know what the taunt mechanic is, but why is Matt saying that people's aim should be locked on to the. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. It's like Gal even Galio in League of Legends has that. Then you're not locked on him, but when you put down the damage on the target. It's, he sucks up the damage. Yeah, I think it should work a bit more like that. <laughs> I think but, it would be hard to like balance though, wouldn't it? Because you have such high output abilities in the game. Just like, oh, you, I high nooned one person and now it's dead. It's yeah, like, but I think, I also think that that's a good thing. Like here's, here's how I would balance it. When someone goes down to 45, is it 40 or 45? 20% of their health at the moment. Isn't it? No, I thought it just was like blanket 40 or 40. I thought no, it was 20% health. It says 20% health. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 20% to one health is what they've changed it. So presumably it's 20% oh, right. at okay. the moment. Yeah, I'm just. Okay. So when, once, once you get to that like locked limit at 20%, any additional damage that gets done to a player goes into the immortality field instead. So like mm -hmm. you're still in, you're incentivized to shoot the players to get them weak, and once they're, once one of the players is, is brought down weak, an extra little bit of damage and the immortality field breaks. And that, that it would act very similarly to the way it acts at the moment. You just wouldn't be able to hide the lamp behind architecture of the map and keep it safe forever. I think, I think that actually, hmm. I think that's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I like that because you get into this situation where like towards the tail end of the duration of the thing, it's like you won't be able to kill it fast enough. Uh, wait, am I thinking this through right? Like, you get into this like spot where like two durations or two seconds of duration where like you cannot kill the thing, but you also like can't really deal damage to the opponents and you're just kind of waiting for it to end. And you get to that kind of phase. I rather like that, like. Uh, sorry, I've, I've been recording for players? so long that my head is just exploding. But Why don't you just shoot the players? Well, that's what I'm saying, because they're stuck at like 20% HP, right? So like you can't deal more damage to the players, right? Essentially, it's kind of, kind of boring. But You're you just waiting the for lamp the lamp to end. Huh? Now, the lamp would break if you kept shooting the players when they, got, when they went down to 20%. Right, let's move on. <laughs> I, I, don't, move I, I think jo Johnny's, Johnny's just boomed point. himself. I think. Yeah, I, I just you. boomed myself. I like yo. I like let let him run around. At, to be honest, so sounds I like complicated. These, I like these balance changes for Bastion, and the only one that went through was the increased movement speed. But he he wanted the tank duration to be increases, and and for him to have a jump boost of five meters with two yo, charges, that he's in sentry mode. I yo, think this is bonkers. I, I love it. I would have been on board with it. Yeah. What does that Give mean? Give him mobility. Like like, it's like you're on the bounce packs on Oasis whenever you go into sentry mode. I don't know. Mm. I, like the Exo boots for Batiste. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of, yeah. That's he can insane. Ju he can just jump up. He gets, like, some mobility, you know? I mean, it's crazy, but I like it. I that like is it wild. You know, Anzo. I th dragon they, they, Strike. Well, they tried to remove the Dragon Strike arrow projectile. Instead, they just increased the speed of it. And they reduced the distance and increased the damage of it. So they just made it like what? Uh, almost like a close range hit scan burst? No, no, no. Kind no, it's the arrow distance has been decreased. Yeah. You know, you know when you I mean? first like fire the range, arrow? Increasing the projectile speed. So it's like uh, this, like if they're increasing no, no, the speed. No, 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 no. 
They increase the speed of the dragon strike, the actual dragons. Oh. The projectile <laughs> is the actual arrow you fire. There's an arrow, oh. that, there's an arrow that turns up, into a hold dragon. Up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, sorry, I'm a dumbass. Because I, I see... Okay. So the arrow okay. projectile... Dragon strike is the ultimate. I'm thinking of... What the hell is this? You're thinking of storm arrows. Storm arrows, yep. You were thinking of storm <laughs> I arrows? That, I thought they had turned storm <laughs> arrows into like a close range of hit scan... <laughs> like blow people up ability. Fan the hammer. Yeah, like a fan the hammer. Yeah. Fan the arrow. Yeah. Well, because, because when when they're talking about like projectiles and like yeah. speed and projectile distance and damage, I'm not thinking like when I think of the dragon, I think of the dragon, which is what <laughs> hit scan. There is a projectile that comes out. When you fire the ult. That's what the arrow projectile is. That's the thing that's had the distance decreased. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but, because, yeah. but you don't think about that. That's such a weird thing to change. It is a weird thing. I immediately thing, yes. didn't think it was thinking about, I didn't think yeah. it was talking about the ultimate. That is a weird thing the, to change. The storm arrow. So wait, you thought that they had just removed all projectiles for the storm arrow? Yeah. You thought it was I just thought a bow. Was, I thought you thought it was literally just, just a bow. I thought it was literally <laughs> so fast you had a hit scan like do, 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 but it's like close range. Oh, how yeah. do you mean arrows close range? They just like dip. <laughs> but no, but like storm fall into storm the ground. Storm like storm arrow is straight, right? <laughs> like <laughs> they just fire straight on. Shooting flaccid arrows. No, no, no. <laughs> but at such just, high speed. Listen, listen, listen. He's like <laughs> but he puts the such arrows, little energy <laughs> there. <laughs> Yeah. No, storm arrows are Flop. straight on always. Yeah. And then, and I just want to animate it. Yeah, but you thought they just puffed in out of existence after five meters. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they just made it go really fast. <laughs> just disintegrate in the air. Oh, that's beautiful. What's, what's the next animation of that? Genji. Too funny. Here we go. What's Sparkle Gen done here? Did we talk about Genji? Oh. No. He... There's two things that have already been implemented. Yeah. They're live. Shuriken like, fan of blades of a shit. spread. Yo, I oh, like the dragon blade duration on yeah. kill increase by one second for I each mean, kill. Cool. I'm that's a, absurd. And that's absurd. I think that's pretty cool. D d one second is a long time. That gives you extra swings. Mm. That's Wait, wild. how long is a swing? Isn't it like cool. one and a half second? I don't know how much a swing is, but I, it feels like that would give you at least one extra swing per kill that you got with the blade. To be fair, there's cool. a lot of times when you, when you dragon blade and you're, like, you're trying to swing at the end and you just don't get it off because yeah. like someone's far away. So. Yeah. yeah. I, I like this change. That's, like this that. is an enormous buff. We're going to see a lot of Genji during the tournament, I think. Yeah, I mean, also, the, the fan of blades having a tighter spread, you're just going to get plowed. Yeah, I mean, Genji's going to farm. It's, yeah. It, uh, Big I'm surprised lock. that he's real unanimous. Yeah. Some uh, of the other stuff is quite reasonable. Yeah. Well, none of these people are going to play Genji. They're like, yeah, sure. We'll just let it go. Yeah. Why Pimbus not? didn't get changed. Orisa did. Uh, but it was, I mean, these changes are so minor. Like, the, well, the barrier increase is yeah. not that minor. Supercharger health by 25, kind of minor. And the barrier cooldown increasing by a second. Uh I the echo one definitely needed to happen. Uh, leaving duplicate uh, with something other than full HP. Uh, what are they just leaving it to the to the devs to decide what that turns into? I think they did. I don't know if it's uh, been announced oh, so in like the patch notes. The anything. exact uh, number I can try and find it, or I think Johnny may have had it up because he was talking about some stuff that was on there. But but they didn't agree that she should leave duplicate with the same HP she started. Yeah. So it's somewhere in between. How are you going to calc that? Uh, uh, when ultimate ends, it will be healed to half health instead of full. Okay. Oh. okay, so it's half health, right. You couldn't have made it with the HP she started at because if you tried to like get in close to copy somebody in the back line and you basically were dead, like you could never make that play. But maybe yeah. you shouldn't be making that play anyway. Uh, I, I think this is a good change that should probably go into live, to be honest. Yeah, I think this is one that, like, actually, yeah. You Thank can see. God. The Torbjorn the one. This Sebi is one that... Uh, Sebi Orbi's insane. He's, what is he doing <laughs> He's here? worked magic on the negotiating table. <laughs> he right? wanted to remove <laughs> two, two turrets. Two turrets, and he wanted to remove the primary and secondary fire of his gun. 
and just make him a turret guy. <laughs> and just make him a turret guy. <laughs> just run around throwing turrets so, everywhere. I don't know what Here's he's the thing. Damage and health of turrets reduced by 40%. So mathematically, by adding two turrets and not reducing them by 50% or more, he's gained damage and health. So instead of one turret, he has two turrets that both add up to be better than the one single turret. So he's just gained extracted more value from the two turrets combined. And, I'll be and he has two turrets. As you can uh, set the, up the crossfires, you can watch flanks. Yeah. You can he should be making stimulus checks, man. Like, uh, this guy uh, knows how to code. And knows how to write. Does. Yeah. Wait, also, his name has been spelled differently every time in this Reddit <laughs> post. And now his name is Sablolbly. <laughs> or or The Symmetra change. Yo, that would have been kind of crazy. That, I mean, I can understand why people voted no to it, though. Moving slow, like, getting slowed when you move through a barrier. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be a fan of that, personally. Taking control away from people in first-person shooter games does not feel very nice. I want you to be able to attach know. sentry turrets to enemies so that you could hit them <laughs> and they would have to get a teammate to shoot it off them. Mm. Otherwise, it just stays on mm. them forever. And so if you're in a 1v1 and you land a turret on someone, they're just taking damage. They can't do anything about it. Elite <laughs> level change. Lucio changes. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the range of his crossfade has increased. Unanimous. Uh, this is a cool change. Healing and speed boost scale based on distance yeah. to Lucio. That's, I love that. I think that's quite that's cool. That's a doesn't pretty that run incredible risk change. Of you, Actually, I hate that. Doesn't that run risk Why? of you when you're speeding up? If somebody gets left behind, they're just going to fall even further behind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they would. Oh, yeah, I hate it. And I guess it just means that you should be running rush every time you play Lucio because you want people as close to you as possible to get max speed and max... <laughs> Oh my god. Or the yeah. just shepherds people. Like, come on, this one. Come on. God, and the, and the cooldown of the boop is four seconds now? What? No, no there, there's four, four seconds. Six. Oh, oh, six, oh, 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 sorry. sorry. Yeah. I don't know which one they're going for. Maybe they're going to go for the middle ground of seven, but that's, yeah. Pretty hefty nerf to his boop, but he, he was getting it off every four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Why didn't they change the thing so that the further away you are from Lucio, the more speed you get? <laughs> That, that would be fun. Everyone just start like on the edge just to well, extract heal and speed. Lucy would have just been on his own little island just there. <laughs> it, it, it might be like that because they just said it scales based on distance to Lucio. Yeah. So it might be the healing is increased the closer you are to him. No, 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 no. It says here on the other article, effectiveness is increased by 20% at close range, falling okay, off to minus 50% at maximum range. I don't know what to say to M that. Minus 50%? Yeah. Like, you won't even be in it, mate. You're not even, you can't even control your own destiny. He'll just zoom past you. <laughs> yeah, You're gone. Yeah, they will. That's kind of ridiculous. That is weird. The yeah. May change is so small. I mean, pointless yeah, almost. 20%. But... Poco tried to go to the negotiation table, walked away Oof. very sad. Did yeah. not I mean, he tried to do a save the Orbi, didn't he? He said, decrease the ultimate charge of the self destruct 20%. They said, no. He said, okay, 25%. What Charles you thought you got opposite. more ridiculous as you went on. <laughs> more? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, the way this is ordered makes me think that at the negotiation table, Poco says, give me two million. I'm like, no. Four million. <laughs> <laughs> no. Five million. And they're like starting to sweat a little bit. They're like, oh my God. He's going to keep going up. And then he oh, said, give me two. <laughs> I don't understand this. Accretion and immortality field can be... Matrix. Oh, so, so when you, can you throw them. out the immortality in the rock, yeah. Yeah. you can eat them. Okay. I would love to see immortality field be matrixed. Yeah. I, I, the, rock, like the rock Wars is too explosion. big. Rock is very... I mean, how it's do you eat a rock? Chunky. No, it just smashes into you. That's yeah. the answer. Um, he was really trying to get out these buffs. The only thing he got was boosters having a longer duration, which is a pretty, pretty sizable That's buff. a big buff. And then at the it's end, he was two like... two seconds okay, okay, to three okay. seconds. How many? Two seconds so to three seconds. an extra second. You one extra second from two. But also, to that is that is the same. Isn't that the same thing? The three second boosters that we started the twenty twenty season with, when divas were just flying around on top of uh, <laughs> on top of buildings and just staying in the air forever. Or was that a three second uh, cooldown? I can't remember. I can't remember, man. Yeah, patch notes. I, I do yeah. love that at the end. My memory. He tried to get away with. Okay, okay, five percent decrease, <laughs> <laughs> and and they still shut him down. I respect it. I respect the hustle. 
not happening. Maybe next time if Sabi Obi works with him on the hero mm-hmm. changes, you can get yeah. away with it. Uh, that is the experimental card changes. When is the tournament, Matt? Uh, it is next weekend. Uh, so the signups are open now on game battles, and then uh, next weekend's the tournament. One of the cool things about the uh, tournament is that unlike some other ones that uh, we've done where Overwatch League players are not able to play with the general public, uh, they are allowed to play with the general public uh, for this one. So if you play, you could end up matching up against some Owl players. Uh, you probably won't win, but at least it would be kind of cool uh, to, to, to have that opportunity. But yeah, if you land a Shatter on Super at close range and stun him for three seconds, you can put that on your pinned tweet forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've still got my, uh, my banner on Twitter, I think, as me hammer-killing Monte Cristo <laughs> as Torbjorn. <laughs> so yeah, and I think... Uh, get that as well. And I think, like, you know, Owl players can play with Owl players on other teams, their own teams, so you could see some wacky stuff. Uh, who knows? We, maybe we can get some Owl players to boost us. Yeah. They want to play who, would, who would you play with? I don't think anybody would want to play with us, to be honest with you. you what if we got like Gooshway? Yeah, you could get on a team with all the people you've won v one before. You could make a team of Bren, Gesture, bring back Baby Bay, uh huh, Linksa. Yep. Who else have you won v one? That's it. Is that Corey. It? Corey, bring mm. back Corey and Baby yeah. Bay. When did you one v one Corey? In the Hanzo, In he the, had. It was he during the Dallas oh, Roll the, pause. The, the, the... We uh, we did the one v one during the pause. Because it was so long. And then um, just another player. Another random player. Yeah, Profit. Because Gesture and Profit like to play together. Oh, Gesture, yeah, Profit, Corey, Baby Bay, and Bren. We That's got to be a decent team. We would win. <laughs> we would win at the back of that. <laughs> Not a chance. All right. Another topic. I don't know where this came from. But this is apparently rumors <laughs> on the news about Deer. Um, oh, about it, wasn't, it wasn't rumors. He had a stream where he was talking about it. Uh-huh. So oh, he well, streamed you know, uh, basically talking about... Um, the Valiant stuff going on. So apparently Valiant asked him to join. He gave us some thoughts yeah, Valiant, to go. Valiant are close to signing a roster, I think. There's been some, some rumors, mm. some leaks, some reports. And uh, we're just going to wait until the Valiant actually announce it. But yeah, apparently Dia got an offer. Dia apparently got an offer. Um, and he said he, he decided not to go. The reasoning for this... Did he give justification? Yeah, he gave justification. I don't know if it's been... Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Um, He said one of the obstacles was that because he was involved in the Norton 28 Shanghai Dragons, he felt like even though he's had such a successful season this season, he's been the best hitscan player in Chinese contenders. He was on the Chinese contenders team that won Gauntlet. He pounded. He redeemed himself, all of that. He... His exact words were, I can't afford to bet if we go Norton 28 again, which, okay, they, couldn't, they could only go Norton 16, but he's worried that if they're a shit team and they get destroyed, it would just be like trauma all over again from right. 2018. Oh. Um, and he just felt like that wasn't a risk that he was willing to take. And I thought this was cool to bring up, not because it's cool for Deer at all. It's, it's really sad, honestly, that he felt like he didn't want to take this opportunity. But it shows some of the reasons that players might choose teams beyond just fat salary. I mean, not that Valiant are probably offering fat salaries anyway, but you know there are reasons why certain team, certain players want to go to certain teams. The, the attraction of winning, the attraction of playing with certain other players, yeah. can often be more than just <laughs> the money, the money, or having an opportunity. And if yeah, you're Dia and you've built your stock back up, why, why just jump at the first thing, right? And he yeah. and wait. Yeah. It's, I'm surprised that Dia didn't get offers this year. Um, yeah. Because I think there was a bunch of Chinese organizations that were looking for hitscan players that, um, that would have benefited from the marketing aspect of having Dia on their team too. Uh, and he was, he was good. He's still a good player. He might not be a, like a, as ridiculous as some of the other talent that's in the league, but he's still good. Yeah. It's, uh, right. I think we're all rooting for him because, I mean, what, what he had to go through on that Shanghai Dragons team, I mean, that was, 
Oof, like just mentally, like I remember us talking like in the middle of the season, like what those players had to go through just mentally, just like being yep. at the arena so, for so long hours and like not being able to get this win and like when they cried on stage and it's like, you really root for those guys to find that success so they can like be proud of themselves for like coming back and conquering everything that came with that regular season. So, I mean, seeing those tweets and him talking about it, it shows... It makes me happy because it shows some level of like mental um some kind of growth that he's like you know reflected on that moment for a long time and just when he made this decision to not join the valiant like him recognizing his mental health and what he went through them and how he wanted his fu- what he wanted his future to look like it shows yeah. some some level of maturity which uh you know i'm happy for the other has come to that point um but I really hope that he gets an opportunity elsewhere to prove himself. And just to see him win on stage would be an incredible moment in Overwatch his esports, I think. Because, you know, we can meme about their losing record and everything. But, like, that, that, that was one of the major stories in Overwatch esports. Just like yeah, Shanghai was. Dragons losing season. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to see it come full circle. Nice when any Getting of the players get an opportunity to redeem themselves. Yeah, like Deer yeah. actually did play a little bit. He he subbed in once or twice, something like that, for Shanghai. I remember him playing Ash on Anubis, and they they won uh, back on yeah, the he... Korean team in like 2019 or something. Yeah, because nobody was playing Ash at the time. I remember him yeah, coming yeah. in and playing Ash. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's uh, yep. good luck to him in the future. I I think. Uh, He's he kind of has already reproven himself in contenders this year by winning Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm inclined to agree. I mean, as well as that, it's again, I think he's got enough stock that he could wait for an offer that he feels more comfortable taking. Team that he probably you know going to have more hope for, I suppose. Sure. Um, he's definitely got the uh, the you know skills, achievements, and skills. Yeah, well, he's proven himself. So yeah, all the best to him. Uh, let's go over the most important segment of the week, every week, that we do. <laughs> Friends Player of the Week. Every oh, single God. week. At some point, we will do new intros. I don't know when, but we, we will do some. And I'll make sure I'll get like all sorts of new costumes. Yeah. A little dolphin mm. one. A dolphin I'll costume. make dolphin noises. Oh. Yeah. I don't... Do you do good dolphin noises? don't really know how to. I can do little dolphin <laughs> noises. I can flap around. We'll do, we'll do something special. Mm-hmm. But for now, you're just going to deal with the lower fur, just sliding in. And my player of the week this week goes to no other. It couldn't go to anybody else, I don't think, this week. Could it, there, there may have been summer choices, but I feel like it was night and day. The scientific community, isn't it? No, it's not. It's Mitchell Leslie. Oh. Uh, for his tirade oh. against Elo Hell <laughs> and the, uh, the casting tirade that he went on. Um, it, it, it's... You need people like Mitch in the scene to stand up f- for the lower, like, sort of, just the kind of, like, the hierarchy that exists in terms of esports talent. Because at the lower level of it, with commentary, it is uh, a, just a mess of companies trying to exploit, trying to get you for wages that are not livable. Um, for the longest time when I was casting, I mean, it was the case with literally all of us, but, I mean... For some of my first events, I just wasn't even getting paid at all. And it wasn't like I was undercutting people. It's just that they no one was paying. getting paid. You know, yeah, no one was that. getting paid in those that events. Was, that was early. That um, was also a smaller scene where even no even in paid. Even in Overwatch. Really? Yep. I worked at Overwatch events where I really? didn't get paid. Yep. Yeah, I did. And it was well, they weren't paying, they weren't paying for dumb. the event, but I wanted the opportunity. So, uh, so I did. Was that a dual tournament you did with Slasher in 2017? <laughs> It was, uh, I, I mean, I can't remember what it was, but it was one of them. But anyway, the point, I'm, the point, the takeaway from this is that Mitch ends up going on this tirade, this public tirade, because it's often the only way to get a lot of these practices changed, and uh, ended up going against the Yellow Hell guys, because whatever the decisions being made behind the scenes, but it was essentially negatively affecting a lot of the talent, especially Avril as well, um, as yeah, an individual. Mi- and uh, yeah, it's already hard enough to make a living as a commentator, uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Mitchell Leslie making it just that little bit easier with the stool in hand, you know. Uh, and as a direct <laughs> result of this, Avril is back doing Contender's career this, yep. this season. And Pixie, yeah. Yeah, yeah <clears> which <throat> is sick. 
Avril's a yeah. really good commentator as well. I'm glad that he's staying around within the scene. I'm surprised Mitch, you know, with all his millions, didn't just pay them. Uh, hey, Mitch should just pay all of us out of pocket. Yeah, I know. It's it's oh, kind Mitch, of the guy is so the guy is so much money. It's ridiculous. Away from Josh. No, it is. It's it's Mitch, man. It's Mitch, <laughs> dude. You what? you guys you guys have no idea. With the the he got a Porsche. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah. He did. He bought a house down in the Beverly Hills to, to for his family to live in now. Yeah. It's ridiculous. No, I mean, Mitch is yeah. M- Mitch is only acting this way out of the guilt for robbing the esports community of all the rest of yeah. its money. He's just been hoarding and hoarding. <laughs> it's it's him and Matt Although the little king anyway. at the top. It's uh, it's necessary. <laughs> this kind of stuff doesn't normally change unless uh, someone speaks out about it and I, obviously I, God, it's supposed to also chat in 2021. Mitch yeah. has just radiated alpha energy well, this year. He's also in a position where he can do this kind of stuff. Like, he's... he's dad yeah. energy on the timeline. It yeah, is dad energy, yeah. He's, so uh, what you're saying is we should give you all the money, Bren, and then you can radiate alpha energy and just, like... Well, no. He like, needs to become a dad sports. first. He needs to become it's, a dad first. <laughs> it's about saying that Mitch probably <laughs> took some risks in posting a lot of this stuff. Uh, like, bridges potentially being burnt off the back of it. When you go public against something that's hurting the scene internally you are taking a risk against yourself oh it's yeah just that you know obviously we're in different positions where we can speak out against this kind of stuff and it won't negatively affect us that much i we have that kind of luxury i have casters regularly message me in the valorant scene asking what their rates should be as well and when i tell them they're like oh <laughs> oh i didn't realize <laughs> yeah also people asking me about how much work you need to do before it becomes a full day Instead of a half day, they were like, if you work more than six hours, is that no longer a half day? I'm like, motherfucker, six hours for a half day? Holy, <laughs> like, what are you talking I was about? Like, I was like, have you, have you ever worked an actual job before? Like, do they, need, do they think a half day well, is like actually so like new. a full 12 hour, like half of the day? Like, like what is that? <laughs> I mean, yeah. in, in the case of Avril, which is where I brought this up, Avril's not new to the scene and it's a different circumstance, but with maybe the Valorant cast that was speaking to you. They're, they're, they're just inexperienced. They're inexperienced with the scene. They don't understand. And so they are going to get exploited by the TOs and the companies that come in. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and, and also yeah. the companies don't know either. The companies don't know because they don't interact with Yeah, a lot of times talent, companies so they, have no clues. They right? literally just, some of sure. them just yeah. don't even know what a fair rate is yep. um, because they don't work with tier one talent. So they end up underpricing massively. But yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool player of the week. This would normally be where we end <coughs> the episode, but unfortunately to take a more serious turn, there was some news that came out. Uh, early in the week, obviously, the allegations against Sinatra, um, and we figured we would discuss it on the show. We've already, uh, oh, I say we, I mean, you, Avast, and Wyatt spoke about it on the Plat Chat Valorant channel, and yeah. you went into deep detail about this topic because it's obviously affecting that scene. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, to, he's, to, yeah. he's a player in it currently. He's a player in, in he's Valorant. He's yeah. at the moment. Um, and you guys spoke about that, and you guys, I think we're going to leave a, a link in the description as well. Presumably timestamped if you want to go back and look at that as well for some of the other thoughts. Um, in terms of the detail of this, when I heard this news, it was a punch in the gut for me personally because the last three years of the Overwatch League was essentially building this guy up and what I thought was him selling this narrative that he had matured as an individual and as a team player. Yeah. And... Yeah, it which, was... Which I think you still can in some aspects of your life while still of course. not at all in yeah. other aspects, right? Like, but the, it, it's just, there's no, there's no correlation directly between the two. Yeah. It's just some people... Of course, of course, yeah. Uh, I, but, but yeah, the, the, I, I was quite shaken, I would say, when I read the allegations, yeah. when I read through them. Um, yeah, it's a it's it's a hard topic for me to even uh, even approach. I'll leave it to yeah, you I mean, guys I, if you even want to. Yeah, talk I, about I it. felt the same way uh, as you, Bren. It was just like I yeah. got punched. It was, uh, and and I'm happy to see just the fast, uh, the fast kind of reactions from you know Riot, uh, the Overwatch League, Shock, yeah. Sentinels, everybody. Uh, yeah, there's there's no place for that. Yeah, it it was handled appropriately with. Yeah given how serious it actually was. And, you know, there were some disappointing comments from some people in the scene, but overall, 
I think the majority really rallied around Cleo in a very supportive way. Of course. Which was yeah. very nice to see in that regard because we should more and more take these issues very seriously and give uh, women like her benefit of the doubt. I mean, like you guys already said, like what she wrote up was incredibly graphic. Um, I know there was an audio clip in there. Personally, I couldn't listen to it because I just like just reading the text. It was just so awful that I couldn't bring myself to listening to the audio clip. Um, I just like to say on the note of what you mentioned, Bren, uh, mentioned Bren, um, a lot of people built this guy up and a lot of people supported this guy, became fans of Sinatra. Um, and you know, he even like sold some of his clothes as well. And I'm sure like a lot of fans, even some who listen to this podcast, bought those clothes um, and supported him all the way. I just like to say like, don't at all feel responsible or don't take on blame for like supporting him. Like you couldn't have known. Um, so don't feel bad or like take some kind of blame in that regard. And it's okay if you need to talk about this subject and how you feel bad about this in real life like please talk to someone about it um and make sure that your personal health is okay about it because you know as you all mentioned it's a punch in the gut like when you appreciate a person like this and then finds this out uh very tragic um allegations uh so just like i just encourage listeners to take care of their own personal health as well um because this guy obviously was a big part of the Overwatch league uh, scene um, yeah, and so it is very disappointing to see a fall like this. Yeah, and, and of course, I think all of our opinions are. Uh, I, I think they mirror a lot of what you guys were saying on the on the Valorant podcast uh, because you guys, I mean, you went into detail about it, long discussion. Yeah, we went deep because um, it was really raw. I mean, I've said my piece already on it, so I'm not going to yeah. talk too much about it here again. Um, and obviously, we all stand with Cleo and. Uh, yeah, I mean the, the the general community consensus, like you said, Johnny has been been pretty. Um, I think has been pretty correct about it. Obviously, there's some some cases where that's not the not the the correct attitude, I suppose, to take to a situation like this. Um, and we're just not even going to name it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's uh, overall just really gut wrenching scenario yeah. news. To, to, to come to light um but yeah obviously all of us standing completely with leo um with the uh, the accusations that are coming yeah, yeah. um but yeah i, I don't think we're going to be spending too much time on it like i said you can look at the previous platchat valorant episode if you want to see um a lot of the the kind of discussion on it um but yeah i, I suppose uh, not a not a pleasant way to end the episode overall but I'll, uh, yeah, it's, it had to be said at the end of the day, and we had to discuss yeah. it. He was a big part of the Overwatch League for a long time. Um, so it's only right that we, that we do at least bring it up on the podcast itself. So we will see you all another day for even more Plat Chat content. We've got team previews team coming previews. up on a regular basis, and we'll catch you all then. So see you then.